Welcome to the Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Roble, and I'm here to introduce you to the new non-high frequency start force cut ADI. This machine weighs in right about 45 pounds, has a total footprint of 10 and a quarter wide, 15 and a half high by 24 deep. This machine comes standard with a hand torch, an air water separator, a wheeled standoff, five electrodes, five tips, and three ceramic shielding cups. The new non-high frequency start makes this machine just a little bit more user friendly to use on a CNC table. With the EuroConnect machine torch and the CNC control plug on the back, it makes this a snap to hook up to your table. For wiring in my ADI, I made another trip down to Home Depot, bought the 1110 plug that's compatible with my shop. Took it, and you'll notice this machine is just a tad bit different. It's set up for dual phase. It can be single phase or three phase. If you're set, setting it up for single phase, you'll use the black as L1, the white as L2, and green as ground. And you'll simply just clip the red, which will be your third leg if you were using three phase. Put the plug together, and you're good to go. Next up would be installing the air water separator install it with the bracket down. You'll want to just get all the screws started and then tighten everything down. Up on top we have a little arrow that tells you direction of flow. So you'll attach the fitting here. I put a little bit of Teflon tape on there just to make a better seal. 5 8 tightens it down. This is a push lock. You just push the tube in and pull out make sure you're good. Same with the bottom. This is how you drain the air out. This would be your CNC control switch, and this is the on and off. Next up will be our ground. Just goes in, tab up, rotate clockwise, we're on. Very nice grounding clamp, goes to your workpiece, ready to cut. Now for connecting the torch. This is just a standard Euro connection, gets plugged in, tighten down. This is what our torch looks like all stripped down. First thing we'll do is install the electrode. Screws right in. They supply you with a nice wrench. Just put a little bit of torque on it. Next up will be the tip. We'll install that. A little bit of torque. And the ceramic shield that's installed. We have a complete torch. Now I'd like to run you through the panel for the force cut ADI. Turn the switch to on. We have air pressure gauge and pressure regulators so we can regulate how much we want to dial in for our cut. I tend to run between 80 and 100 pounds depending on how thick or thin of the material I'm cutting. If I'm cutting thin th material I might do 80 uh, for PSI. And you know have my amps I'll dial it in accordingly. You know 20 amps I'll be cutting maybe 8th inch and then we'll spool it up to uh, 80, 83 amps. Uh, we're looking at, um, you know, cutting through full inch and a half, inch and three quarters. Over here you have the post flow. That's how long you would like your uh, air to run after you have made the cut. Constant in time, leave it up in constant for your hand torch. And CNC in manual, down in manual for the hand torch, up in CNC when you have it plugged in for the table. That's basically it. Here we are with a piece of one and a half by three quarters cold rolled steel. I have my wheeled standoff set up on my torch. I'm 220 thousandths off the deck. I'm running 100 psi and 80 amps. As you can see we have very good cut quality, very little kerf, and I cannot wait to get this machine hooked up to the CNC table. I think it's going to be a blast. What do you get with the new Force Cut ADI? Value and performance. At one third the cost of the leading competition, that allows you to put your money where you want to put it, in your projects. This thing for performance cuts your inch and a half steel like it's butter. It comes standard with 25 foot leads that allows you to work all different places in the shop. 
With the new inverter-based technology, that allows the ADI to be a little bit more user-friendly on your CNC table. I can highly recommend this product, and I can say, go out and buy one.